Hello guys and girls. I'm doing a video about Iron Man 3. This is my Iron Man 3 uh, movie review. I, I saw the movie uh, on May 5th. And that was a Sunday. I saw it about uh, three days ago. At 3.45. In the IMAX 3D. It was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. There might have been a 10, 10 out of 10 uh, for me. I learned this morning though. The Iron Man suits were blown up in this movie. He blew them all up. To have the girl, the Pepper Potts, he wanted to have a better life and not be Iron Man anymore. And his house was destroyed in the movie. Of course, they had funny parts. It was kind of a funny movie, too. There was a, a humor uh, in this movie, too. Like there always is in these movies. And he had uh, 42 uh, suits in this movie. But uh, he did not have uh, his stealth uh, suit. Uh, in this one. And they took the arc reactor out of his chest. And they took the rest of the uh, piece of metal from his heart out. They took it all out. So he has no arc reactor on his chest um, anymore. And the Mandarin wasn't really, there wasn't, there was only one villain in this movie. Aldrich, Aldrich, Killian was the was the villain in this movie, and he used a, a virus called Extremis to give people superhuman strength and abilities. But some of them blow up uh, from it. it. Doesn't go well for some people. There's a part of the movie where the Chinese uh, theater in Hollywood uh, was blown up. And then, uh, Happy Hogan, uh, was, uh, badly injured. So he had to go to the hospital. In this movie. Another guy, he's finally, uh, survived, because he had extremists. Extremists regenerate your body if it's blown up. You, you regrow limbs, or arms, or any part of the body. And, it, and it's called extremists. Which is from the comic books. But I didn't see uh, Stan Lee in this movie. I kind of didn't. I was wondering what scene was he in. It's probably forgotten. I probably didn't see it. He he wasn't in the, in the movie at all. And the Mandarin was just some actor in, in, in the in the movie. He wasn't really a Mandarin. The trailer was wrong. And then show Mandarin as an evil, uh, as a bad guy in the trailer. But the movie, he was just an actor. Pretending he was this Mandarin guy. Like he was this greatest terrorist in the world, but he wasn't. He fooled uh, people. And his name was Trevor in the movie. Then he was in the mansion, he was smoking weed and uh, drinking alcohol. With all, he was a ladies man too, he had a lot of women in there too. Sad to see Iron Man's house be blown up. But, uh, it, it said after the movie ended, uh, Tony Stark will return. And he drove off in a, a red and gold car. It's an Audi that looked like Iron Man uh, uh, colors. And he was carrying all the parts from his old house. Uh, that makes his suit. Like that one robot uh, partner he had. Except for the first uh, two movies. And this movie. Uh, and the suits in this movie uh, attach to, to your body automatically. 
and they're and are remote remote controlled uh, also. So you can control them without being in the suit. And uh, there's a there's a kid in the movie too. His name was Harley. They had some funny parts uh, together in that movie. I mean, they were good together in that movie. And then later on, Terry Stark uh, built up a little workshop uh, for the kid. And the kid got really liked it. He was from the... And the movie also took place uh, during uh, Christmas time. For some reason, it, uh, it was. And, uh, Pepper Potts and Toy Stark uh, were also living together. And the uh, Avengers thing affected Toy Stark in a big way. He had bad dreams from it. From going to space. And then falling out, out of the sky. Remember that Avengers movie where he uh, threw the nuclear bomb in the sky? He's having dreams about that. But, uh, I'm hoping he will be in uh, Avengers uh, 2 or in the other uh, movies too. I hope he has a cameo appearance in Thor and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain America. So I hope he's in Avengers too. I hope uh, Robert Jerry Jr. will still be Iron Man. I hope so. Because I don't know who will replace him. If not. Now, in this movie, got uh, worldwide 690 uh, million uh, in two days. Uh, it probably got one higher, but I don't know. It's almost uh, reaching a billion, so I, I hope it does. Can we make that happen? Can we make uh, Iron 3 reach a billion dollars? I hope we can, guys and girls, and uh, I would recommend this movie. Go to the theater and see it. You will love it. It'll, it'll be a good movie for you guys to enjoy. If you guys like this kind of movie. Like the, the IMAX. Uh, theater was so crowded this weekend. That tickets are being sold out. So you probably have to buy tickets. On Fandango. Before you go on a movie. Uh, but you have to do it through the Irvine Spectrum website and then push Fandango and then select your theater uh, near you to see the movie the the, the 3D uh, was good the cinematography uh, was great too the scenery was great they had a plane uh, Air Force One that was destroyed in this movie they blew a hole through the side of the airplane where everybody flung out. And then Tony Stark was trying to save him, but he could only hold four. And then he did a barrel of monkeys uh, thing through the sky. And it was like a little skydiving scene. But he saved all the people. He brought them down to the ocean. He threw them all in the water. But before, a little bit further from that, there was a boat scene, uh, too, with... Don Cheeto and uh, Tony Stark uh, leaving that house they were tracking. And Tony Stark was camping by there. And the house was for where Trevor was in that big mansion. It was uh, that Killian guy, Mr. Killian's uh, house. He's a pretty rich guy too. He's pretty famous, also. And, uh... I just wanted to give you this... Uh, yeah, I'm doing a video now. And, uh... Have you guys will enjoy this movie. I give it uh, two thumbs up. It was the best movie I've ever seen. I think it was better than Iron Man 1 and 2. In my opinion. But everybody says the first one uh, was the better one, and they say the second. Some people say the second one uh, wasn't that that great. It wasn't that good too uh, either. And uh, I will recommend it. Okay.
I had a blast. Uh, my friend uh, Lisa Harlow uh, was there, and Parker Kinsley was there, and also Josh Flores was there, and I, Andrew Flores was there. There, and Alyssa uh, uh, Burke, uh, Barker uh, was there uh, herself also. So, uh, yeah, and uh, my friend Sean Alsick was there too. too. And Andrew Safari uh, went to the movie too. And uh, his friend Troy. And Josh Fairmont couldn't make the movie. It got sold out right when he made it. So, I hope we can make it up to him. So, I uh, move off. His name was Josh Fairmont. That was his name. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my Uncle Paul uh, went uh, to the movie too. Uh, Paul Stanescu. And, uh, and, uh, Josh, uh, Stanescu, uh, was there also. He enjoyed the movie, too. And Uncle Paul, uh, didn't really like the movie too much. So, superhero movies are not his typical, uh, type of movie. But I thought this was very exciting and uh fun. I had a blast in this movie. And I hope I can go and I hope the other movies will be promising too. Yeah, this summer. I hope all the movies I'm gonna go see this summer will be great. I I think the movies are like ten out of ten I think. The superhero movies are my favorite. I like Marvel and D C so yeah. I just wanted to review the movie for you. Guys and girls. Also, there are funny scenes I like too. And uh, his Iron Man suit uh, died in the movie too. And it was snowing in the movie. And he a little bit traveling to different uh, states. Do you know, like Rockwell? Uh, I mean Tennessee. Somewhere in Tennessee. Uh, Rose Hill, Tennessee. That's where the kid Harley uh, is from. So the movie was two hours and twenty minutes. It's a long movie. I can't tell you all the descriptions of the movie because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I want you guys to enjoy this movie. Go see it for yourself. It is a it is the best movie I've, of the summer so far. I just hope all the other movies can be as good and enjoyable. I, I, I love the IMAX. I give the IMAX 10 out of 10 uh, for you guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed my review of uh, Iron Man 3. Okay? I, I love this movie. And thank you for giving me I thank you for all you 110 people to subscribe to my channel. Keep liking these videos, guys. Don't lose open to me. Even though I don't do it for uh, a couple of days, three or four days, still watch my videos, even though I don't make them that often. So, and I gotta have Biosley here uh, shortly. It's at 7 30. It's already 7 07, so I just wanted to uh, do a review. And uh, please leave a like, add a favorite, subscribe, to like, uh, also rate, and leave your thoughts and opinions too. And keep subscribing to, uh, to my channel. Never give up hope on me. The true believers and true followers of my YouTube channel. I hope it is enjoying your days, guys. Always be happy. Do the right thing. All right. I got to go now. So enjoy, and I'll see you later. All right. And there was an after credit scene with Tony Stark and
uh, Mark Ruffalo from the uh, Avengers movies. Uh, Dr. Banner, Tony Stark was talking to him like he was a psychologist, but he really wasn't, so, gotta go. So there. And the, the acting was pretty good, too. And the story was really good, too. And everything, the whole movie was awesome and great. Alright, I hope you, uh, well, go see it. Go see it right away. And tell many people about this movie, too. Alright? To the, uh, see you later. Okay. Bye-bye.